where life begins after coffee. Today I have a back to school inspired makeup tutorial for you, but this one is a little bit different because I'm going to be sharing the do's and the don'ts of back to school makeup with you. So I'm not a student anymore. I am actually a teacher and I teach middle school and high school and being a teacher and seeing the makeup the girls wear now, as well as reflecting back on the makeup that I used to wear when I was a student, I see a lot of common mistakes that um, lots of girls tend to make. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is sort of show you um, the don'ts, the things that I see a lot of girls make, the mistakes that I know I used to make, and then I'm going to sort of show you the do's, what you can do instead of that. Before we jump into this, I am doing this as a collab with X Beauty by Jen X, and she is sharing some back to school inspired um, sort of fashion, like a little back to school inspired lookbook, and I will have a link to her video down below. But um, as far as the do's and the don'ts for back to school makeup, let's just get started. Meet Callie 1 and Callie 2. Callie 1 follows some great basic rules for everyday makeup while Callie 2 doesn't. Let's see some of Callie 2's mistakes next to Callie 1's tricks. Okay, mistake number one is jumping straight into makeup application before exfoliating or moisturizing your face. Callie 1 knows better. She takes a few extra minutes to quickly exfoliate her skin with exfoliating pads like these ones or just using an exfoliating cleanser, and then she always makes sure to follow up with a daytime moisturizer. Mistake number two is sort of a two-in-one and has to do with not blending your foundation in well or choosing a foundation that's cakey or too dark for your skin. This is a very common mistake because it's easy to apply foundation to the parts of our face we see in the mirror and forget about blending it beyond that. Let's see what Callie One does. She's chosen a lightweight foundation that matches her skin and is using a beauty sponge to blend her foundation, taking it down onto her jaw, onto her neck, all the way back to her ears and up into her hairline. Beauty sponges are great for this because they replicate natural skin, giving you a very natural look. The third mistake Callie 2 makes is caking on a stick concealer. This may work if you're going for a full coverage makeup look, but for every day it's just going to make you look cakey and won't let your natural skin shine through. <laughs> To fix it, Cali One takes a lighter liquid concealer and applies it only where it's needed. Try looking into the mirror dead on. Tilt your head slightly down while still looking up into the mirror and you'll see that your darkest under eye areas will become more prevalent. Just apply the concealer here and then lightly blend out. Mistake number four, Cali Two neglects her eyebrows. Callie One knows a well done eyebrow can make a face pop, so don't leave them out. On the flip side, of course, you don't want to overdo it either. Use your brow tool of choice and fill in the gaps in your brows for a natural look. I'm planning to do a whole post about my entire eyebrow routine, including waxing and shaping, so stay tuned for a more thorough eyebrow post in the future. Let's move on to eye makeup mistakes. A common one I see is applying a light shimmery shade all over the entire lid. Don't get me wrong, I love a champagne colored shadow, but applying it all over gives your eyes zero shape and washes you out. <laughs> to fix this, try applying the light color to the inner one third of your eye, but then pack a matte brown onto the outer two thirds of your eye and softly blend it into your crease. This will give your eyes more dimension. Mistake number six is one I used to be guilty of. Callie Two says she wants all the black eyeliner. This is such a common mistake. Something in our mind tells us loading on black liner makes our eyes look better, but in reality, it just looks too harsh and actually makes your eyes look smaller. <laughs> Callie One has learned this lesson. She knows not to put the black liner away because that would be a tragedy, but to use it more purposely for everyday makeup. Try using a white or nude liner on your waterline. This opens your eyes up. Then take the black into your tight line and on your upper lash line. Here you can add a little drama by making the line thicker if you want. Mistake number seven is Cali 2 is loading on too much mascara. We've all seen those women who has applied so much mascara she basically has three lashes left. Not sexy. We want full lashes, plural. <laughs> To fix this, Cali One applies a mascara by softly wiggling the brush back and forth in order to coat each lash. Don't be afraid to go for a few coats, but when clumping begins, you've got enough on and you should stop while you're ahead. Mistake number eight is going a little overboard with blush. I understand this because blush is my favorite step, but there are benefits to controlling your excitement. <laughs> To fix this, first make sure you're not using a blush brush that's too big. 
Next, remember blush shouldn't go too close to your nose, nor should it go too far past below your nose because that'll make your face look droopy. Give a big smile to find the apples of your cheeks and apply it there. Then sweep it backwards towards the top half of your ear. Mistake number nine is over powdering your face. Callie too is concerned about shine and her makeup smudging, so she puts it all over her entire face. <laughs> Try instead to just apply it more purposefully like Callie one. She sweeps it onto her T-zone, across her forehead, down her nose and chin, where she usually gets oily. Next, a quick sweep along the jawline, since this is an area of our face we tend to touch the most. Mistake 10 and our final mistake is putting on a lip color that's too light. While there's a time and place for light lips, they are more likely to wash you out. <laughs> Instead, try not to be scared of color. Dab it on and then spread it in with your fingers. This gives your lips some color but isn't overpowering. If you need help picking the right lip color for your skin tone, I wrote a really extensive blog post about it and I will put that link in the down bar. So there you have it. As you can see, Cali One followed some basic tricks and tips and looks much more fresh faced and natural. By following some of these basic rules, you can really make a difference to your everyday makeup routine. Like I mentioned, these are tips and tricks for everyday back to school inspired makeup. Up. Some of the things that were mistakes here wouldn't be mistakes if you were doing a more full face glam makeup. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Hopefully this video was sort of helpful to you in some ways. Make sure to let me know in the comments below the biggest beauty mistake that you used to make. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.